a hundred thousand games for a hundred bucks. Let's check it out. So this is what we're checking out today. A two terabyte hard drive for $120 with RetroBat pre-installed. RetroBat's very similar to like RetroPie or Recallbox. And uh, works for your PC, plug and play. You just uh, get the hard drive. Oh, this one even comes with controllers. I think you can get it without the controllers if you want as well. Oh, there it is. So with two controllers, uh, you know, you can see there. Uh, or just the hard drive 120. And uh, they're claiming 100,000 games and lots of gameplay. It does work. It's running, you know, classic emulators like RetroArch and uh, Dolphin. And, yeah, you just plug it in and you can start gaming. And we're going to show you that in just a second. But, you know, just be a caveat that I recently did a review Hyperbase uh, product, which is basically those ROMs on a Android TV box. Um, they also have, it looks like, on a, on a SD card as well. Um, for, uh, you know, 512 gigabytes for $90. Um, so you're seeing the same ROM set around all these products, it looks like. Um, but people are like, oh, the hard drive seems like a pretty good deal at 100 bucks for two terabytes. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the hard drive. You have a retro bat file. You have the readme first, which tells you how to install the DirectX. Go ahead, load this up. All your, uh, you just load up RetroBat here is what you all you need to do, but all your ROMs are going to be here. So it is a hard drive just full of ROMs. If you ever just want ROM folders, boom, there you go. Um, the, the ROM sets themselves are not anything to be, to like brag about or anything. Um, but, you know, I think for some people, they say, oh, it takes so long to download. So here we go. All games, 100,346 games all running on retro bat over here and nice clean front end and uh in order to play like playstation 2 you do need more of a dedicated graphics card and things like that but if you want to play snes things like that you don't need much computer at all you can buy like a hundred dollar laptop and it's going to run this no problem at all so let's just start off with why this is cool i mean it's a two terabyte drive just loaded with games and retro bats pre-installed so for some people looking for a plug and play ready to go you could bring it to a friend's house it's just a hard drive really really nice uh but then if you really look into it, what exactly are you buying you're basically buying a hard drive with just roms preloaded on it there's not a lot more customization other than that i mean there is a little bit but it's not a lot and there's a lot going on here with the um with the game with the games you'll see in a second so like nintendo 3ds 465 games but let's see if we click into here are there any duplicates here okay so not bad like some of these sets are actually really nice you have all the photos and everything else it's looking pretty good but then you go to some of these other systems especially the arcades let's just look at that for a second and you'll see what i'm talking about that gets a little uh a little arcade right Thirty-nine thousand games well what happens if you click it look at this you got 10 pages of 10 by 10. you've got five versions of every game uh, and I'm still only on the numbers. It's alphabetical order. I still haven't got to A yet. So it's just this big dump of arcade games. And uh, it's it's a little uh, it's a little crazy in there. Like, how are you supposed to pick a game out of 40,000 games? It takes a long time to go through all the games. Now, you can, you can sort through that yourself, go to favorites, things like that. But just be warned that, you know, there's some areas of the system where it's just not set up perfectly. So let's just go ahead and see what we got on here. You have some collections over here, but let's just start in the back at PSP again a little misleading it says 292 games but if you scroll down here some of these are PSP mini games see how it says minis on the box art and then some of these are actual PSP games um, let's see if we can find one here you do have some yeah here you go here's a you know what the heck block cascade is one um, and you'll have others as well like there you go carjack streets cannabate all this stuff um, but as you see, not not like an amazing PSP collection, if you ask me. Like, I yeah. So, a lot to be desired there. But hey, if there's a game you want on here, there you go. PlayStation 2, only 22 games. So, another area where there's so many games for the PlayStation 2. It just gives you a small little bit. And at 2 terabytes, I feel like you could put a lot more on there. PlayStation, 14,000 games. Okay, so this is kind of nice. You get the, pretty much the entire PlayStation uh collection right so i feel and it's and this one actually is set up you got some you got some duplicates here as you're seeing here d there's like four of them disney's hercules there's two 
Um, Disney's Pixar games, there's two of each. But uh, for the most part, you have a huge PS1 collection. And I know a lot of people would buy this just to have the PS1 ROM sets, you know, just to have them working. Uh, you click on them, they play. And and I have to say, you click on them, they work, right? They have RetroArch pre-installed. They have Dolphin installed for Wii and, and uh, GameCube. So for those reasons, it actually works. And so it's not a complete garbage thing. So you got your portables here, Neo Geo CD97, Neo Geo 160. So again, Neo Geo, not a bad set. You got the whole Neo Geo set here. So I got to give them credit. There's some areas where they actually got it right. And then uh, Naomi, you got 112 games. Let's check this out. So here you go. Lots and lots of duplicates here. But um, in a small set, right? You would expect more Naomi games, more Dreamcast games, as you're going to see in a second here. Dreamcast, 327. It's actually not bad, actually. I have to give them credit. So D2, there's four copies there. Um, but I, I'm, you know, I expect, you know, a, a well, I mean, if you're going to just take a retro bat and add games onto it, like I expect, you know, I know people that have single handedly built better uh, things than this. So if they have a team or whoever they're paying, you know, like, come on, get with it. Uh, Sega Saturn, not bad. Yeah. So as, as you're hearing, you know, I'm the arcade set is just atrocious. I can't give the arcade set any credit. It's just awful. Uh, these are OK. They're OK. They're not great. They're not horrible. Um, but do know what you're getting into. Sega 32X, pretty much all of them. Sega CD, pretty much all of them. Sega Genesis, so 2,000 games. So what do we got here? We just got a lot of, you know, a lot of these games you're never going to play. Aladdin, you got four of them. You know, just look at that. A ATP Tour Edition Tennis, look at this. So they're all hit. Most of the Sega Genesis games are here, but, you know, it's just not really organized well. Comic Zone, look how many there were there. Wow. So, yeah, a, a lot to be uh, fixed. So, Thomas Lee, let's check that out. Okay, Dolphin Blue is on here, and it runs well. But, again, this is kind of a small Thomas Wave collection compared to whatever. So, this is what it does look like when you load the game. I accidentally loaded it, but it goes into the, the thing, and then you get bezels, and it works. So, the games that are properly in there with the ROMs, they are set up, and they're ready to go. So, credit there. So, these are all um, open board. You got 169. These are collections here. Uh, Nintendo 3DS, 675. So not bad in my mind. Again, another system, pretty good. A lot of the, I would say, you know, for the most part, the consoles are pretty set up. My, the problem I don't like with the consoles is like, there's some where you just don't have many games. Like we only have 20 games here, right? But you do have the Mario's and the Zelda's, right? So you have some of the more popular titles. Nintendo DS, okay, 7,000 games, come on. Like, you know, this is gonna be a riot or a racket or whatever you wanna call it. Like, look at this. There's numbers in front of these games. When we get out of the numbers, we get into duplicates. Um, I mean, it's just, I mean, to get through this many games, like, it's just crazy. I believe you could just hit select on your controller. Yeah, you could jump to a letter. So you're like, oh, I want to go to Mario. You can, I mean, you can do this. And then finally get to where you want to go. But now you got to go into M-A-R. There you go. I'm finally in Mario, right? It's a lot to go through. Mario Kart DS, Mario Party. Um, not great. Okay. Pokemon mini, you got 43 Game Boy Advance, 2,600. Again, there's only about a thousand games here. So you got 2000 duplicates in here. Um, Nintendo GameCube. So, which I'm fine with this, you know, this is fine. I would like more games, but not bad. Right. Cool. Uh, and then this runs on dolphin. It actually looks really good. Uh, it's really good. Uh, so this is the Nintendo 64 DD. That's cool that they have it. Game Boy Color, 15. Again, so there's going to be duplicates in here. Nintendo 64, 5, 17, not the worst. Let's go back, sorry. Nintendo 64, not the worst. You're going to see most of your Nintendo 64 games, not a ton of duplicates, but for the most part, pretty good. Virtual Boy, Satellaview, Super Nintendo. So 37 Super Like This is just like the Genesis all over again. Look at that. Many, many duplicates, right? Game Boy, again, ton of games. You're going to see some duplicates. Disk system 229, so five, almost 5,000 Nintendo games. Like, So I think I'm painting a pretty clear picture for you here, what you're getting into. Um, but there is a lot of systems here, over 50 systems. There are even some Windows games. You can get Plants and Zombies on here, MSX, MS-DOS, only three games, Jazz Jack Rabbit. Some good games, though. Um, Duke Nukem 3D. Oh, it is the shareware version of the game, so not great. 
uh, Amiga, Commodore 64, your CPS system. So how many CPS? So there you go. Your Capcom play systems at least are, are sorted correctly. Jaguar, pretty good. 56. That's a good collection. You're going to get most of the games there. Not a lot of duplicates. I feel like some of these collections they got from other people that were all pre-set up and some of them were just like dumped on here. So MAME 2003, another 40,000 games. How do you, like, again, even if I hit select, let's say I want to find Ultimate Mortal Kombat, right? So I go down to U. Look how long it's going to take me to get that. I can obviously add it to my favorites. Um, but uh, there you go. Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. Let's see if the first one works. And uh, it should. But it's just, I mean, that you'd have to know what game you want. If you're, like, searching for a game, like, what's that game? I used to like it as a kid. And you're, like, scrolling through. You're going to be scrolling for an hour. Right, so it works. It looks good, right? Great, as it should. I really like RetroBat, by the way. I think it's a great front end. It's newer. It has lots of, uh, you know, uh, customizability. And then you get 3D over here, 218. And then you, these are all collections. You got your Neo Geo MBS. I don't know why they have that separate. They have another Neo Geo collection somewhere else. Um, vertical arcade games, retro achievements. I haven't messed with this, but it should have retroachievements.org. You can put this on the network and, and get those um, set up. You got your last blade. You even got light gun games. We'll check out the light gun games. So, like I said, a lot of duplicates here, but it's a lot. It's pretty good. They got most of the good ones on here. Point blank. So, I'm not mad about that, but just duplicates. Um, let's go back and then back to arcade and then back to all games. So, there you have it um and again you can uh you can you can play around with this like you could change the game collections turn some on turn some off let's see can you change the um ui theme is on okay only comes with one theme you can install new themes though uh you could change certain things like background music things like that you can add your own games well that is something i really like about this if we quit here um it does come with a um boot screen and everything else and, and if you have a snappy computer it, this runs really really well like retrobat in general i'm a fan of uh the fact that you can spend a hundred dollars and get the build is pretty decent i mean we just found out the hard drives who knows it's probably somewhere in the realms of 30 to 60 dollars uh so they're charging you you know a fee for the convenience of having the hard drive pre-set up for you there we go um, but you also now have this hard drive where you can then, you know, take these ROMs and do whatever you want with it. You can drag and drop new games in there. You can even clean it up a little bit yourself if you wanted to. So for some people, it might be a good starting point. Um, you know, as far as what I would say is I, out of all the hard drives out there, when you can get like these hyper spin hard drives and things like that, you know, I would say that it's not really well set up to some of those I've seen out there, but those same people are charging double the price. So like I said, for something cheap, inexpensive, just down and dirty, it works plug and play. It might not be the most polished. It actually gets like a, a somewhat passing grade. You might want to consider it. For somebody looking for like, oh, I want a legit setup. I want it to be polished, you know, uh, you know, a, a work of art. This isn't it. This is not it whatsoever. Um, but for those reasons, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.